jolly heat. <laughs> hot jolly nights. Hot jollies. Jolly heat. <laughs> This is Northumberland Police, Geordie Heat Squad, Constable Denise Welsh. Can I take your name, please, sir? Yeah, this is Mr Sting, you know, from the Massive House. Oh, hello, Mr Sting. How can I help you now, pet? Well, I, I was out dancing at the reggae club tonight, right? <laughs> and right, and when I got back, me house had been burgled. <laughs> oh, dear, Mr Sting, that's an awful <laughs> pet. What did they take? Blah, they took me best, like my, me, me best medieval loot <laughs> and me exercise bike. <laughs> oh, dear. Can can you tell me how they gained entry to your massive house? Massive hammer by the look of it. Me front door <laughs> smashed the fuck. Mrs Sting will probably think I forgot me key and I'll be for it. <laughs> Uh, that, I'm sorry, Mr. Sting. What did they steal again? Me loot and me exercise bike, for God's sake! <laughs> OK, calm down, Mr. Sting, now. Did you notice anything unusual on your way back up your massive drive? Oh, I, I did see a fella looking at me from behind a tree and he was wearing a very bright hat. <laughs> OK, that's good. Now, would you, <clears throat> Mr Sting, would you be able to come down the station and give us a description of the man with the very bright hat behind the tree on your massive drive? <laughs> ah, no, I can't be bothered with that. I'll tell you, I'll just buy a new loot and a new exercise bike. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> I'd like to introduce myself. Now, my name's Chief Inspector Steve Bruce, and I'll be heading up the Serious Crime Division from now on. I'm hoping we can all get on and have a nice time and that. So, any questions? Yes, DC Henderson. Uh, what? Whoosh! Yeah, I like man country style, you know, with a crunchy top and like, top and like. Will that still be an option? Uh, thank you, sir. Oh, and I hope you enjoyed your day here at the studio. <laughs> I don't worry, Hendo. No big changes are going to be made. I'm going to convert the first and second interview rooms into a fish and chip cum kebab shop. That's probably the only big difference you'll notice. Yes, D.I. Shelby. Welcome on board, Inspector Bruce. I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say what a magnificent, bulbous and pulsating neck you have. It's quite beautiful, like a pillowcase full of slugs. I just wanted to check that I will still only be working the night shift. Or graveyard shift, as some call it. Monster mash! <laughs> I first off, JJ, thanks for your lovely comments about me neck. Much appreciated. Obviously, in your case, I'll keep you on nights whenever possible. It's always been my philosophy to put individual needs above those of the team. I would like to introduce you to a new member of the team. Now, first off... I have to say, it is a lady. <laughs> fuck's sake! Oh, uh, no! no fuck. That's us fucked! Hey, calm down. Calm down. Now, she last worked with the force some four years ago and built up one hell of a reputation as an interrogator. You may remember the confession by Tony the Plug Knobs. Well, it was her what got him to crack. She's a sweetheart and a hinny to boot. <laughs> Please welcome onto the team, Mrs. Carol Beardsley. Come on through, sweetheart. Why don't you say a few words, pet? Oh, hiya, everyone. I feel as if I know some of you already through watching the police interceptors, Nina. I would just like to say that I am very thirk and happy to be part of Geordie's squad. And Remember, just because I've got fronties doesn't mean I don't pack a hook and punch. <laughs> Would you mind, D.I. Bruce, if I had a quick word in your hook and ear? Right, you lot. Get yourselves down the new chippy and get a good scran on. So, what is it, Carol? 
if you ever fork and call me <laughs> pet or sweetheart in front of the team, I will lump you so fork and heavily that your bed fork and nose will straighten up, reversing on its fork and self and present itself as a fork and duck's beak. Is that fork and understood? <laughs> Uh, yes, DC Beasley. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to working with you. You're a good lad, Steve. Now fuck off back to your office so I can get stuck into these lads. <laughs> Jody Heat. Hot Jody Nights. <laughs> How we're the squad. 